has starred in over 20 movies and is perhaps best known for the eight seasons that he spent playing Walker, Texas Ranger. Now Chuck Norris is out with a brand new book. It is the official Chuck Norris Fact Book 101 of Chuck's favorite facts and stories. And in it, he discusses the value that have guided him in his life and a lot of uh, lighter material as well. Chuck Norris is here with his wife, Gina, who make us both look good. <laughs> Uh, good to see you guys. It's so it's been a long time. So good to nice to see you, Chuck. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too, Ben. I, don't, I forgot which rule it is. Is that if somebody uh, comes into your house, uh, which one is it? Oh, what's that? The NRA thing? Yeah. Well, oh, no, I said if someone, if a burglar came into my house, right. You know, I could round kick him in the head. You know, but I'd prefer he looked down the barrel of my gun. Well, exactly. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, Leonard Skinner does a new song. You know, if you have a Bible and a gun, you pretty feel pretty safe with both, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. God and guns. <laughs> exactly. God and guns. That's else. right. Well, you, you you do a terrific column on World Net Daily. You write on a regular basis. You yeah. follow the politics very closely. Both of you do. Yeah, we do. You very. You're not happy with the direction of the country. Oh heck no! You know it, it's really, you know I feel like I'm in a nightmare yep. and I can't wake up, John. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I really don't. You know I wish I knew what to do. You know the thing is I have solutions, but you know. Uh, Why exactly. don't you run? Why? Oh. How about, no, no. There's a solution. Why yeah. wouldn't you? Chuck Norris could be governor of Texas one day. You know why? Because I'd be sitting here with my opponent mm -hmm. and uh, debating. And then he'd start attacking my character, and I'd jump over there and choke him unconscious. <laughs> you have more control than that. No, I, don't. I don't. He probably would. He probably did a lot more. You know, that's the problem. You know, I have a thin skin, and it was really tough in the film world. Yeah. You know, and believe me, in the political world, I'd be well, killing no, half the people. Would like you this? want him to? If he just came to you and said, "Honey, I think I'm I'm going to run for the right. U.S. Senate." Right. Would you do it? Mm -mm. Would you I, want him to I, do it? I would support whatever no, decision he made. Yeah. But I, I think we can get more done where we are now. But if he made that decision, I certainly oh, would yeah, support you. The thing is, with, oh. the, you know, with all the senators, you, know, you can't get anything yeah. done. Yeah. You know, it's, it's no, 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 you right can't. and left. I disagree with you. You can. Well, what I do, I'd have to choke out all the Democrats. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good start. You know? What do you call a lawyer at the well, bottom of the know, ocean? Right? That's kind of my saying. You know, there's a, right. one of the facts there that says uh, America's not a democracy. It's a mm -hmm. dictatorship. I like a Chuck Taylor yeah, and, and if it was, I, I said I would go to Congress, I'd line up every member of Congress, mm -hmm. and I'd have Ron Paul, who I believe is the probably the one, more honest ones there. I'd say, Ron, point out the honesty. I and like dishonest. Ron Paul. He's nuts. Yeah, I know. I, no, That's I, why I like him. You know, all right. Well, there you go. <laughs> he's nuts. But, uh, but I mean, anyway, I'd, I'd chalk out the dis, every dishonest politician that's up there. But do you, are you of the philosophy, and I'll ask both of you, you don't think there's a dime's worth of difference between the two parties. I mean, you, you sort of make the case that there's too much Republican well, Democrat. I, I tell you, I'm very disappointed because we had a, a Republican majority in and Congress, they blew it. And, and they blew it. Yeah. And, we, and we had George W. Bush, yeah. and, the, and they could have made a, a strong, positive difference in our country. And you they see, didn't. I think Republicans lost their way, but now I see, I see very, very bold differences on the omnibus spending bill, on the stimulus bill. Yeah on health care, on cap and tax. Oh, yeah. It seems like they're, well, they're waking up. It seems they're that they're waking up. up and they're being accountable, which was the problem before. Yeah. We, we couldn't differentiate anybody well, the, one the from the other. And they weren't trying to change our country yeah. from what it was. I mean, like the, like the party now is trying it's to so do. Radical do you want, because action. Ron Paul's a libertarian. Reagan mm -hmm. said, and I'm a big Reagan supporter, and I'm a, I consider myself a Reagan conservative. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Republican, mm -hmm. although most people think yeah, I'm a Republican. I'm a conservative. I'm a conservative. You yeah. too? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Too. But Reagan said in 75, is it, a, is it a third party we need or a revitalized second party? I'm of the school that we need to go back to our conservative roots and take back Just the, go back the, the to Republican basics. Party. I go totally back agree. to basics. I totally agree. Go back to basics. Strong, strong national defense, right. fiscal responsibility, energy independence, mm -hmm. free market solutions. Right. Absolutely. The problem is, is they were trying to come too much to the middle, but they need to go back to basics of the things that made them who they were to begin with. Yeah, and they lost it. And they mm -hmm. lost they it. They got wrapped up in that Washington culture. Yeah. Right. You know? And that's what happens. They get there and they get sucked right into that pit. It's mm -hmm. like being in Hollywood. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. you'd that's be a, a strong analogy. religious person. You come into Hollywood and you fall into the, that trap of fame and fortune. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you drift away from your faith. You, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to say we're really disheartened that this new administration is not listening to the American people. The voice of the American people, they're stifling their voice and that's not fair. Hey, listen, they're declaring war against anybody that disagrees with them. But... You know, I we're here tonight to say that we disagree. And you see, you guys up. have been very bold. You came out. You 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 campaigned for Mike Huckabee, and and and, we still and he got mad at me. <laughs>
<laughs> at the time. No, but you, but you, but I love but we, the fact we disagreed respectfully. Yeah. But I love, always love Mike. Yeah. I, I just felt like at some point that the conservatives were splitting their vote and we were going to get a more moderate con candidate. I like John McCain, but I thought he was too moderate. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I think uh, uh, Mike Huckabee could, uh, I don't think anyone could have beat uh, Barack Obama. This last no matter who it was. Right. No matter if it had been Mitt, uh, Mike, or anyone. No matter. Uh, I don't think anyone could be, because he was on a roll yeah. and he had a system. He had a, a system going that uh, is couldn't stop bar the nine. It's, a, it's yeah. the most ra uh, controlled system I've ever seen in my life for a president to run. I don't, I don't want to forget your book because you have a lot of really fun things in here. This is a fun book, by yeah, the way. It is. It it's is. A fun, you know, yeah. writing these articles every week and writing uh, Black Belt Patriotism, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, you know, just, uh, by, you know, you, this, uh, you know, like you say, build up like that. And I said, I got to lighten up, you know. Yeah. So uh, when I was in Iraq, you know, I'd be shaking hands with all the troops over there mm -hmm. and they'd be telling me these Chuck Norris facts, you know, and they'd say, what's your favorite one? And I'd come off with some facts. I thought, when I got back home, I thought, you know, I'm going to write my 101 best facts. That's great. And mm -hmm. in fact, as I'm writing, my eight year old son says, Dad, I got one. The boogeyman? No. no that Chuck one? Norris eats bullets for breakfast. <laughs> Watch out when he burps. <laughs> I like all, it. That's all, all the proceeds of That's this book go to Kickstart. So we Which really. Which is your charity that mm -hmm. you've been Absolutely. involved in for a lot of years. Um, you know, I've been around you two a lot. You guys really break the mold. I mean, I've, I've never met a couple closer. I mean, you guys are really close. You do everything together. Yeah, we do. We're really, yeah. really, we're best friends. Yeah. We, well, like, we like being yeah, around she's each my other. researcher. You know, she's the one, the, the well, computer I, I one. Think, I think you married way out of your league. Oh, but, I did, you know, believe me. Uh, but know. the thing is, though, what's great. I expected to get punched on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. that, that's a fact. I, yeah. can't, I can't fight the facts, yeah. there, John. But no, the thing is, uh, Gina's been we incredible in my well. life, and uh, it's re well. she's really helped me refocus what's really important in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, before it was, uh, it was me. Everything was me, me, me. Yeah. And then and she finally uh, helped me focus that it's about people and us and all that. We but, make a good team. And you really do. Thank you. And by the way, it's a great book, guys. And it's yeah, great it's to a, see it. It's, it's a, a fun book. Keep, keep speaking out, honestly. Uh, I think it's some, your voice is important. Well, you have to see us. So, I will. Ned Daily today, uh, article today. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I will. I've been Thank reading you, your stuff. Thank good you to see you. Thank you very much.